Hi, it's Dwyer, digitalassetlife.com, a free site, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Let's talk about a crypto idea. Today is Saturday, September 4th, 2021. But remember, nothing I say here should be construed as investment advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just say that right now we're in a situation where the capabilities of Ethereum are being used by other cryptocurrencies in a more efficient, cost-effective manner, right? You may already know a coin I mentioned earlier Matic Network, they've rebranded as Polygon, uses the Ethereum blockchain, but of course, allows you to do so in a faster and a cheaper way. Well, I believe that's really one of the big themes you need to focus on this summer, right? It's the emergence of Ethereum competitors, coins like Cardano, coins like Solano, right? And it's also the emergence of, we'll call them Ethereum enhancers. Now understand, some of these enhancers have actually set themselves up to move away, be more independent from Ethereum in the future, right? But for now, they are taking off in part because they have features that won't be part of the Ethereum 2.0 chain for a few more months, right? And it's because you have a lot of ERC-20 uh, tokens, a lot of Ethereum compatible tokens out there, cryptos, that rely on the Ethereum chain, right? So when you have Ethereum compatible alternatives that give you faster transactions and cheaper transactions. A lot of cryptos are set to take advantage of those Ethereum alternatives. Well, let's float an idea here. It's already in the top 70 of all market caps in crypto. You have a lot of platforms building on it right now. It makes the Ethereum blockchain more efficient. What I want people to do is to take a hard look at a cryptocurrency called Near Protocol. Again, the name is Near Protocol. The shortened abbreviation is Near, N E A R, right? It's available right now on Gate.io and CoinEx, right? Don't let your platforms, your exchanges, um, lack of availability of this coin, stop you from going on other exchanges to get the coin. Now, let's just put it simply here. Ethereum is like a train route, right? Picture train tracks going from one city to another, right? Well, understand Polygon, which I mentioned earlier in this video, and Near Protocol are like express trains that can run on Ethereum's tracks with fewer stops and lower prices, right? Understand that Near Protocol is able to do so in part because of sharding. Right? It has a technology that's going to be built into Ethereum 2.0, but it has it today. Let me also say, too, that the native coin, excuse me, the native coin for NEAR protocol is the NEAR coin, N-E-A-R. NEAR protocol is proof of stake, but, and this is important, it has an emphasis on decentralization. Now, what you're going to find is that we're in a moment in crypto where certain outfits, one of my favorites, Binance Smart Chain, are so centralized that people are concerned 
right? Proof of stake benefited from all of this environmentalist talk that scared people away from proof of work, which I believe is superior, right? Proof of work allows miners to be part of the system. Miners, not validators. Anybody with mining capability can decide they're going to become a Bitcoin miner. What that does is it increases exponentially the decentralization of the network. Right? To use a term often used by Nassim Taleb, it gives the network robustness. Right? It gives the network resiliency. The more centralized the network, the greater the risk that you're going to have a central point of failure that's going to ripple out throughout the network. So understand, you have some newer coins near protocol, also Avalanche. Take a hard look at that coin. That have certain things built in that increase the decentralization of the network. Don't get me wrong. These networks aren't as decentralized as they would be if they were proof of work. Right? Let me also say I'm a bit astonished that people feel that the use by cryptocurrency outfits of electricity and of mining somehow is supposed to hurt the efficiency of electrical networks. I don't get it. I can hardly think of a more meaningful use of electricity than to give people financial self-sovereignty. But be that as it may, right now, proof of stake seems to be the rage in the cryptoverse, right? The metaverse. And just understand that near protocol is proof of stake, but they have some built-in safeguards to enhance decentralization, right? Just like Avalanche does. Let me also say too, if you're worried about storing your near protocol, right? You don't just wanna consider buying it. You also need to consider how you're gonna store it, right? You know what they say, not your keys, not your crypto, right? Just understand that Ledger Wallet actually has a near wallet app that allows you to store near protocol, right? So you have one of the prominent cold storage wallets in the cryptoverse, and they actually have a way where you can store near protocol on its system. So near protocol has taken off, folks. The price was higher earlier in the year. Then, of course, there was retracement. Right, crypto went through, it's hard to believe now, with Bitcoin around $50,000, but crypto actually went through a cold season this year. So now, of course, near protocol is reinflating. As I make this video, it's a shade under $7 a coin. Like Polygon, another system that's piggybacked on Ethereum. I believe near protocol is worth a look, right? Let me also point out too, that if you go to near protocol's website, you're gonna see a bunch of projects right now that are being built by third parties on the platform, right? Near protocol's website the address is near, N-E-A-R, dot O-R-G, near dot org. I'm buying this coin. I hope everyone here, whatever they decide to do, and remember, you want to think for yourself. I believe this is a coin you need to consider. 
that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.